Okay, so it's the 20th of August, 2021. There's 42 games left in the season, and the Washington Nationals have no shot at all at making the postseason. They've just come off a massive fire sale and just about traded three quarters of the team, uh, including an MVP candidate, Trey Turner, who had another year left on his um, on his contract. Pretty controversial, but also kind of exciting with some of these young prospects that we've already seen um, make their debut for the Nats. So something that I like to do throughout the season, and I'm sure many of you guys would as well, is just check the stats and check the top 10 of each of these categories and have a look if any Washington Nationals players are in there. And even more importantly... Have a look at the team records, so the single season records for the franchise. Um, so what this one's already all going to be about is Juan Soto. I, I generally like to look for all Nats players, but unfortunately, being that Soto is the only one with the significant amount of game time this year that we've got left, it's just going to be basically tracking Soto's run for the top 10 at some of these categories this season. So the first category I wanted to bring your attention to, and he has a good shot at it, is franchise record single season walks. So Bryce Harper in 2018 walked 130 times, and you can see there Soto's already in the top, uh, top 10 with 108. So... He's currently walked 92 times already, and he's got 42 games left. So, not great at maths, but I believe he needs to walk another 38 times in 42 games, which sounds like a lot, but if you guys have been following what's been going on lately, since the um, since the Nats lost some of these big power bats like Schwarber... Um, Pitchers have been walking this guy like crazy. I mean, I watched a seven-inning doubleheader the other week, and Soto walked like five times in that game. And, and you know, he struck out as well because he was just getting frustrated by not getting any pitches in the zone. Um, so I think it's a, he has a real shot at that 130, um, I guess, depending on how some of these games go towards the end of the season. I mean, if they're... If the Nats are getting hammered in some of these games, they're, they're probably likely to attack him. But if they're close games, which a lot of these games that we've been losing lately have been, they, they just walk Soto. So he has a real shot at that one. Um, the rest we might just go through in order. So if we have a look at the average, um, so from the 2020 COVID season, Soto's already got the 351 average. Um, he's currently sitting on 304 for the season, which is really good. But very unlikely he's going to get up to that top 10 level of 330 for the franchise. Um, home run, so he's hit 20 for the season so far. Um, very unlikely that he's going to hit 14 in 42 games. But that being said, <laughs> we just watched Schwarber do something absolutely ridiculous before the All-Star break, so you never know. Um, RBIs, there's Rendon up there with 126 from 2019, the World Series year. Soto's already in the top 10 from 2019 as well. He is currently sitting on 66 RBIs. So, yeah, it's going to be tough for him to make this list. I think he'll be flat out getting to 100 um, this year. So, something to keep an eye on, I guess. Let's have a look. at. We'll leave stolen bases. Um, because we're just tracking Soto here. Let's look at runs. So to make the top 10, um, top 11, 108 runs needed. He's currently on 79 runs. So he still needs a good chunk of runs there, but with 42 games left in the season, if he goes on a little bit of a tear, he's probably got a shot at the top 10 here. Something to track or just something to keep keep an eye on. These, these are the sort of things that I like to look for um, towards the end. That's sort of what makes it fun for me, being the Nats are nowhere near the postseason. Um, I'd be interested to hear in the comments, any of you guys follow this sort of stuff as well? Like what gets you excited when when your team has no chance of making the uh, postseason? 
um, on base percentage. I mean, this the people who have followed Soto's career know that this is what this guy is all about. So he there he is from his COVID season, 490 on base percentage. He's currently sitting at 443. So, you know, <laughs> very, very good chance of finishing in this top 10. And um, where is he? Oh, there's his other ones, 401. Where's his other season here? Because I know for his four years, he's been over 400 for all four seasons so far. So I don't know exactly why he's not on there for his other seasons. That is super weird. I'm going to have to check that out. So there's his 2019 at 401 and 2020. So we're missing his 2018 season. Maybe he didn't have enough games to qualify. No, because his 2020s are there. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. That's something I'm going to have to check out. But yeah, good shot at his on-base percentage for sure. Slugging, 587. He's currently slugging 517. OPS, there he is at the top from 2020 COVID season. His OPS is currently 960. So yeah, right there, something to, to look out for. See if he goes on a bit of a tear towards the end of the year. And I don't want to spend too much more time on this. I don't think he's got a shot at the hits. He's in 110 hits at the moment, so no way. Uh, no, I won't worry about doubles. Won't worry about triples. We already talked about walks. He never strikes out. Don't worry about that. Uh, court stealing. He has been caught six times, so yeah, don't worry about that one either. Games, no way. He's been out because of COVID. And at-bats, no way. Again, because the guy walks all the time. Never has a whole lot of at-bats to the record. But that's about it, guys. So single season records. He has a real shot at the Walks single season record for the Nats. And again, a lot of their top 10 for the categories there to monitor as well, depending on how much of a tear he goes on to finish this season. Either way, it's going to be fun to watch. Um, as a guy that collects his cards and has somewhat of an investment in him, in him nothing serious, but... <laughs> somewhat of an investment. It's always extra fun just to watch how his at-bats play out. 